Hello everyone, my name is Master Ruffles and welcome to Grey Goo. We continue our coverage of the game with a look at the new campaign mission that they've added into the uh, main campaign. Uh, that would be the 16th mission known as the Herald of Silence. Now, for those of you who don't know, Grey Goo was updated recently to uh, um, include a fourth faction as well as a new mission that introduces that faction. Um, traditionally, the Grey Goo campaign has been split between humans, beta, and goo by you know about five missions each but now this will be the uh sixth gray uh, the sixth goo mission actually in the great goo campaign i did do this a lot earlier but i had to restart it because my microphone volume was at 100 percent aperture device key will reopen forward energy signal detected emerging in upper atmosphere i see them the shroud have arrived it is a scout vessel anticipating landing path Impact zone matches aperture device location. Allow the ship to land. We will move to destroy it, but I must contact Lucy and Saruk first. Let us hope they finally see the true danger we face. Alright, so some time passes be um, between the events of Grey Goo and this mission. Now, hold on a second. I have to really quickly, because I know someone's going to ask me in the comments, raise the voice volume. Oh, just speech volume, man. Yeah. We'll just raise that quite a bit. That's about it. All right. And we'll start this up. It's not so bad right now, but later on in the in the game when there's battles going on, probably won't be able to hear the um the characters talk. So very interesting that they've added in a four faction and a new uh campaign mission for free actually. It's really weird. A part of me feels as though Lucy. Maybe it should have been safe for uh, Hold on. We are at the landing site. The time has come. Singleton, what are you talking about? The danger I warned you about has arrived. What is it? It's the silent ones. I recognize the ship from our elder stories. The vessel drains the planet's energy, paving the way for a full invasion. Ships like these destroyed my home planet. We will find its vulnerability. We have been preparing for its arrival and will destroy it. Preparing? How did you know they would come here? We attracted them. We opened the keyholes and amassed here to draw their gaze. The fight should begin on our terms. Together, the three of us stand the best chance of surviving. Enemy probe has detected us. Detecting intense energy buildup in multiple enemy structures. They can be beaten. I will show you. Alright, so. We're jumped right into the thick of it. Let's move here, 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 and here. Now, here is the Harbinger the probe. This little guy over here is shielded, so that means we can't really hurt, uh, hurt it. In order to hurt it, we have to destroy these support p pillars. Now, here's the thing. As we move across the map, the probe itself won't do anything. However, if we get too close, we can get hit by the little laser cannons over there. And also, here's something else. When we destroy every single support pillar... Well, if we destroy a support pillar... The probe itself will actually get the power of that support pillar. So, this gravity cannon pillar, right? If we destroy that, what ends up happening is the probe will actually get the gravity cannon. So, if you just come across the map, they'll be hit by the gravity cannon. Which is ultimately not exactly ideal. Um, last time when I was at 100% microphone volume, that would have probably destroyed your eardrums. I destroyed the gravity cannon and the drone pillar. Don't do that, that's a bad idea, and I was an idiot, uh, an idiot, oh god, what the, what was that, did I have a stroke right there, but yeah, I was an idiot, and I ended up costing myself the game because of that big mistake, in any case, what we're going to do is we're going to take some siphons, and some destructors, the siphons are a new goo unit, what happens is that they can fire at a target, and as they're doing damage, they can also heal up units around them. These like so. Pillars appear to be unshielded. The 
This may be some kind of generator. Mum is detecting a link between it and the shield protecting the main probe. Alright, maybe we should get some research out. Uh, there's nothing too amazing, really. That's a problem I have with the goo um, tech. It's not really super, super. Um, what was it? Game changing. I suppose maybe we can get. I don't know. Destructive projectiles hit two targets. There's no tech for siphons. So for those of you who still don't know, the gravity cannon is a. You know, cannon that just fires out a black hole and then all my units are sucked into that black hole. I mean, we could try a micro around it, but we can only do so much. We have to get awfully close to the siphons. I do want to apologize, however, I did have intentions to cover this mission when it was first released, but uh, because of the large amount of videos that I was doing at the time, I think Age of Mythology came out like Support fairly soon destroyed. and stuff. Because of the large amount of videos I was doing at the time, I had to we destroyed the weapon here. kind of doing ignore so Grey Goo. Activated a similar weapon on the main probe. We will need to be cautious when destroying these support pillars. Yeah, if we go to the destroyer cannon, EMP pillar, then the drone pillar will be fine. Absorbing energy from all sources. The effect is currently not strong enough to be harmful, but is slowly increasing. Oh yeah, over time the probe will gain more and more energy, which will make it a little bit more uh, deadly. Okay, let's move my goose across the map now. This mama might die. No, she won't. Because she's a survivor. Okay. Oh, keep firing, keep firing. Yep, there we go. Easy. And the heals with the siphons are working out tremendously for us. Come on, the goos are across the map now, so I think they'll be safe from the Harbinger. But yeah, I had a lot of stuff to record during the time, so... Support cannot cover the game. Oh boy, oh boy. Next will be EMP pillar. It's kind of like the, um... The gravity cannon, actually. Just doesn't, you know, suck up my units, so to speak. Just freezes them in time. Which, you know, is more or less the same thing, I guess. My units are out of commission, that's all I need to know. Hey, dumbass, go over there. Uh oh. And as you can tell, that EMP pillar was able to shut down that guy. Could try and dodge this, but no real point really. Just get our guys really, really close. Yeah, there we go. That way, there's constant amounts of damage coming down, regardless of what happens. Yeah, the probe is currently killing all my units slowly, so that's a little bit of a problem. That's why the Crescents are actually losing uh, health right about now. Alright, my large goos. 
I need you guys to make a pilgrimage right here. Support pillar destroyed. Probe shields weakened. Main EMP cannon is coming online. All right, now let's go this way. First and foremost, we'll expand here with our goos. We need to get goos all over the map because shit's gonna get pretty wild pretty fast. Oh no! Thank God we don't have the drones, otherwise my units would be dead already. The destructor cannon does damage, but not that much, so we'll be fine. Here, I'll create some siphons, and then I'll be able to suck up the health of this guy, as well as heal up my own guys. Ultimately, this is just for distraction purposes. That way I can maybe keep this goo alive. Nope. Rip. Support pillar destroyed. Probe shields weakened. Main seeker drone batteries are coming online. Alright, here comes the seeker drones. These guys are a little bit problematic because they do tons of damage. As you can tell, oh... However, I discovered an, a quick and easy method to winning this mission. Just spam out siphons. Spam out as many siphons as possible. Because these things are fucking OP against this guy. By the way, for those of you who are still confused, yes, this is all the mission has to offer. Come on, come on, get over there. You fucker. You ah. Uh. This is why we expanded so much. Come on, come on, tank it, tank it like a man. Any more heals? Suck up his power. Okay, now that we have some of these um, siphon batteries set up, let's go ahead and get out some more of these goos. I believe in you. I believe in you. Oh, I'm just a goo. Gooey, gooey, goo. What was that thing I was going to talk about in the beginning of the video? Right. I feel as though maybe it was a little bit of a bad choice to actually add in the shroud and this, like, 16th mission to Grey Goo. And they probably should have put it into Grey Goo too. I mean, I'm pretty stoked that they did it because it's something that's very rare among developers to actually have, like, new content that's, you know, free instead of just, like, masquerading as being free. However, I'd argue that this game's lifespan has been destroyed, and I don't know, I feel as though, again, it would have been better served if the game, if all this content was put in Grey 2. Victorious? You doomed us by bringing them here! Without their probe to drain the planet, the Shroud will be weaker and unprepared for our forces when they attack. What use is an advantage when you fight us at every step? And what good is an army when you destroy it time and time again? You have brought nothing but death to my people! 
Had I not done these things, your future would still be lost. Whether in one year or one thousand, they are coming. And I will not allow other worlds to fall while we sit idle. Singleton, you may be right, but you can't force us to take part in your war. Stop attacking our forces and then we can talk. Agreed. With the Shroud coming, you need to rebuild your armies. I hope when the time comes, we can fight together. Absorption field reaching dangerous levels. All units will suffer periodic damage, but current self-regeneration will... Is that the Gaussian Air Units inbound meme coming back? And that would be the 16th mission. Very easy. Not much to do. But yeah, I I feel as though a lot of this content should be in Grey Goo 2. In order to possibly make Grey Goo 2 just that little bit extra sweeter when it comes out. So that when it writes the wrongs of Grey Goo, Grey Goo 2 will be like a hit seller and stuff. And I don't know. Not dead on arrival. There is a DLC campaign, but that's a, a prequel. And I don't know if they talk about the Shroud there. In any case... I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.